play at the Welsh Gallery in Cardiff 2013. Like lovely stamps upon a huge wall, the languid lilies of Giverny float in various lights and faded hues. The memories of Monet, a man who bent the local river to his artistic will, now insist we sink into his reverie on water, light and floating lotus blossoms. Two sisters wallowing in wealth and Welsh Calvinism bring the waxy flowers, the paint, the water garden, his dazzling dappled dream space to our Welsh feet. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's really um, this is called Hold Me Tight. Hold me tight, he said, and as I held him, I thought, was it three or four bottles of the red that I bought? And if it was four, would that be enough, or should I get some whiskey and stuff? Kiss me, he said, and as I kissed him, I was thinking that if Jack was serious about giving up drinking, I'd need tonics and perrier and such, which with the wine, would it come to how much? Turn over, he said, and as I turned, I thought, but if the chicken went in about six, it ought to have plenty of time. But what of the rice? <laughs> Do that again, he said. That's really nice. <laughs> Do you love me, he said. And as I replied, I was thinking that making love is as easy as winking, but dinner for eight, without a doubt, takes a bit of thinking about. <laughs> four pubs. It was only on my second pub that I came in touch with miners, uh, the miners' strike, and I met miners. And although my grandmother, uh, my grandfather was killed in Glencoral Pit, I never really, living in Longford Major, came across mining and miners. And then um, I came across them, and it was a whole new world opened for me. And they were wonderful, wonderful men. And this is called Compensation. My uncle Di was a miner, and now he isn't fit. He spent most of his working life down a Cannon Valley pit. When I see him in the mornings, it really makes me seethe to hear him gasp when he gets up, for he can hardly breathe. I told him there'll be money. I told him it's his due. I made him see a solicitor. Like others, he can sue. I told him he could have thousands for the way that he's his cop. He would be set up tidy and be a proper top. But Di just shook his head and laughed. He hadn't got time to wait. And for what he went through down that pit, nothing could compensate. It makes you think all those years ago, who should take the blame? And as for Di's compensation, well, he died before he came. <laughs> <laughs>